Hi guys, Melissa Johnson Hay, Independent Sensi Consultant, back with you again today for my uh, May melting basket. I have to think about what month we're in. So I've got them all set up here um, in order, ready to go. So I thought I would share that with you. This is, <coughs> excuse me, this is the melting, or the melting challenge that Patricia Gates is working on um, while Kentucky Waxy Girl takes a break. So um, I'm actually having fun participating in this. So join along. I'm going to read along with what the prompts are if you want to write them down if you haven't seen her community tab there or her Instagram page, um, Patricia Gates. Um, so Day one is on the first, melt an emerald colored wax, May's birthstone. I kind of struggled with this because I really only have two genuinely kind of emerald color. Um, one is a partial bar of wild barefoot and free and the other is this partial bar of flower shop. So because it's May flowers, <laughs> I decided to go with my partial bar of um, flower shop. So I'm gonna melt this such a strong scent. I like it. I don't dislike it. It's just really strong. So these four cubes will probably take over my whole entire downstairs. But um, yeah, that's what I plan to do on May 1st. And on the 2nd, it's teacher day. Melt a scent with apple. So I chose Star Apple and Freesia. I had this in my Scentsy Club because I really, this was my favorite one from the whole Island Days collection and my second was like Driftwood and Jasmine, but this is Star Apple. So I'm gonna melt this guy, it's so good. I have two bars of this in my collection. So I'm like, this is a great time to melt this one. And for the third, it says melt a scent that contains raspberry. <laughs> so I chose my Sassy Girl Aroma Raspberry Mocha uh, snap bar that I'm going to melt. And this is a delicious cup of dark roasted coffee, vanilla creamer, white mocha swirl, and raspberry syrup topped off with whipped cream. I normally melt this in my kitchen, but I'm kind of excited to do this one like downstairs. So looking forward to this one. It's so good. You get the raspberry and you get the coffee. It kind of reminds me of Godiva um, has in their gold box. It's my favorite collection by Godiva is the gold box that you can normally get at like Barnes and Noble at Mother's Day. I think all year round, but definitely Mother's Day. And in there are some raspberry jelly filled dark chocolates. That's what that reminds me of minus the coffee. I love it. It smells like that to me. And that's my favorite thing in that whole box. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. I love that one, by the way. And the next prompt for the fourth, may the fourth be with you. It's my daughter's birthday and she hates that because she's never seen Star Wars. She doesn't understand, but it says melt a Star Wars or star shaped wax. I'm gonna do the combo of uh, the light force and the dark force uh, for Star Wars it turns into purple, the red and the blue make purple. And these are just gorgeous together. I, I enjoy them on their own. Um, the light force is nice. It's very strong though and fresh. I like it better third and fourth day that, or second, third, fourth day once some of the strength goes away, but I really love the dark forest. It's like a ginger cologne almost. I really do love this one. So together they're magical. They're definitely magical. So that's what I'm doing on May 4th. And then on the fifth is melt a lime scent for Cinco de Mayo. This was hard for me because although I enjoy coca lime, my son doesn't love it. He complains it smells like bathroom cleaner. Um, I don't get that from it. I get like a lime lollipop with a, maybe a hint of coconut, but he doesn't love that one. So I don't normally have that one on hand. And I was like, oh no, well, I have cherry limeade. So limeade, like Sonic does, I think it's, um, lime and cherry. So I'm going to melt my one and only bar of cherry limeade for Cinco de Mayo. And then on the sixth is Kentucky Derby. Melt a mint, grass, or dirt scent. 
Now I do have some kind of grassy, leafy scents, but I'm going with more of the mint and I'm going with um, Mojito Mambo. This is my favorite, but it's partial bar. Partial bars drive me crazy, so it's like great opportunity to melt this. This is my favorite. This is what I wanted <clears throat> the Epcot um, mint fields to be like. This is perfection. I would give anything to get this voted back and keep this in my club because I got like six bars, I think, from the flash sale. I only have like maybe maybe three or four left. And I just love Mojito Mambo. It's got the almost like spearmint gum with the fresh mint and it's not that weird tomato fine mint. I think it's perfection. I love Mojito Mambo. So, and my daughter would love to get that. She never did experience this. So she would love to get her hands on Mojito Mambo too. Cause she loves watermelon mint and it's got that same mint in it. So that's what I'm doing for the Kentucky Derby day on the 6th. And then on the 7th is National Lemonade Day Melt a Lemon Scent. Well, I gave my son my lemon sorbet because he was like, ooh. <laughs> um, so I decided to do one. It's a vendor I've never tried and I'm so excited. I got this from um, a random act of kindness from Charity. And it's from Lavender and Speckles. It's lemon sugar cake. So I'm so excited to try this and see what this will be like. It smells amazing. It smells like a lemon. <coughs> Excuse me. It smells like a lemon cake. So I'm anxious to see how this performs and try another vendor that I haven't before. And then, <clears throat> sorry, I'm still getting over bronchitis. I'm trying. Trying not to be all coffee and suck on a cough drop the whole time. Um, so on the 8th is Coconut Cream Pie Day. Melt a coconut or pie scent. Well, I have this in my Scentsy Club because I really love this bar. Because to me, um, coconut pumpkin pie is like you have an actual coconut cream pie. And I get the majority of what I smell is the coconut cream pie when it's melting and a pumpkin pie in the oven baking at the same time. Like you have one on the top shelf, one on the bottom shelf and you get the smell of both pies. That's what I get from this one and, but mostly the coconut and I love it. So yeah, I'm melting that one for coconut um, cream pie day. And then on the ninth is melt either a cereal or breakfast related scent. I chose to finish up because I don't really love this one. I don't love the cereal scents. Maybe blueberry because blueberry is like one of my favorite and I wish they come out with like peanut butter Captain Crunch. That's my all time favorite cereal ever. <laughs> I love cereal though. Um, so I'm going to do my Zape Under Ruse. Um, this has glazed donuts, fruity pebbles, cotton candy, and vanilla frosting. Just smells like fruity pebbles to me. Although I love to eat fruity pebbles, it doesn't, ex I'm not a fruity kind of person very often. So I don't get real excited about the fruity ones. This does generally smell like fruity pebbles. So I'm anxious to go through that, finish that one up. And then, <coughs> excuse me, on the 10th is melt something purple. So I've been hanging on to this bar and I decided to finally use it because it's that time of year. Um, this is a purple bar, lemon thyme berry. I'm gonna melt this one. It's been a long time. I've been hanging on to this since it was in Bring Back My Bar. What was that, like two years ago? Pretty purple. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna melt lemon thyme berry. And on the 11th, it says straggler time. Use up a wax that is almost finished. And when I gifted the, the whole loaf of this, I did save a little. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me, I need a cough drop. I'm so sorry, I got a tickle. And I don't wanna keep coughing and trying to get rid of the tickle or drinking. So I still have some steroid left and I have an inhaler and I have um, cough medicine pills. <laughs> so bear with me, you guys. I'm so sorry. 
Um, but I have this from L3. It's pink sugar, Liliana's lullaby, and warm vanilla sugar. I know what that says, even though some of my writing is smeared. This is really pretty. Um, and this is about two years old for L3. It's like two years ago, right around the same time I got this. So I want to use this up before it loses. I don't know that this is the greatest bag in the world to use for this. So I want to use it up before it doesn't smell anymore. Um, that's pink sugar, Liliana's lullaby, and warm vanilla sugar. So I'm going to use that. And then on the 12th, it says melt a company friendly scent. My friend Lee from Scented with Lee, I got another friend mail from him, you guys, and I'm kind of saving it for, I have several packages over there to do another um, random act of kindness video. I'm trying to save it, but it's getting hard, you guys, but I got some more coming in, so I'm trying to be patient. But my friend Lee from Scented with Lee, um, he sent me this bar, his last uh, friend swap, and I got to mail his out too. But it's Waxified Candle Co. in the UK. It's Baked Cookie. I'm like, who doesn't love baked cookie? If you have company and they don't love the smell of baked cookie. <laughs> and it says, warm your home with the delightful scent of freshly baked cookies. It's a homemade soy wax. So I'm excited because this smells amazing. It smells like cookies. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> so I can't wait to see what that turns out like. Because these are one and done, I have a tendency to want to hoard them and keep them forever. But the whole point of, of people sending you fun things is to melt them and use them and enjoy them. So we are going to be enjoying this for my um, company friendly scent. And then on the 13th, it says, we all scream for ice cream, melt an ice cream or popsicle scent. I've been hanging on to this one since it was in Bring Back My Bar and that's Blue Raspberry Ice. I do like this bar, not enough to club it, but I did save one. And it's time. It's kind of like those, uh, they're called bomb pops here. They're red, white, or atomic bomb pops. They're red, white, and blue um, popsicles. But it's mostly the blue raspberry, and you get a little bit of the cherry or the lemon, but. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, I'm so excited to share though. It says on the 14th, <clears throat> Mother's Day, melt a floral or a scent that reminds you of your mom. I haven't talked to my mom. It'd be five years in October that Ursula died. So probably five years I haven't talked to my mom. I find we just, we're not in a good space. <laughs> and that's just me. Um setting boundaries and enforcing them and it's okay <laughs> i haven't talked to either of my parents for about that long so i don't necessarily want to melt a scent that reminds me of my mom because those aren't the greatest memories um and i mean i could have melted a floral but i picked something that does remind me of my childhood and the good times that i had with my mom um, so I picked, I got this in a random act of kindness from Virginia and it's from Kay's Scented Melts and it's the scent Snuggle. I do remember when I, one of my favorite memories when I was little was, um, my Brittany Spaniel, Brooke. She was my very best friend in the whole wide world when I was little in kindergarten and stuff. And I used to lay out in the grass in the yard in the summer and I'd be looking at the sky and the clouds and everything. And my mom always liked to have um, laundry drying out on the line in the summer. This remind it's like snuggle up fabric softener, but it reminds me of my mom, of the smell of my mom having, I guess maybe that's why I like laundry scents. Um, my mom having the laundry on the line and it being a warm summer day and just hanging out with my dog. And that was like the best time. She would lay with me or I'd lay on her belly because I was like, I don't know, kindergarten. And, and she's a big, she was a decent sized Britney Spaniel. 
and she would always let me lay on her belly and she treated me like her puppy so that's a good memory of my childhood and my mom having clothes on the line so I decided to go with snuggle up and think about the good times and then on the 15th melt something that starts with the letter M so uh, I only have two of these and I took it out of my club trying to save my 10 bars that I lost <laughs> I still lost them so I hope this comes back because I'm going to miss this bar. And this is my one of my two that I'm going to melt. Um, it's Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. I so love this. It reminds me of Victoria's Secret Love Spell. Oh, it's a beautiful purple wax. I figure Mistress of Evil and Maleficent kind of hits all the M's there. So I'm going to melt my Maleficent. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> Ow, cream. He's playing with my socks <laughs> and he doesn't realize that his 8,000 little claws on each foot <laughs> hurt. <laughs> uh, and he's um, polydactyl. So every single, the little orange guy that I've shown, he doesn't, he, every single one of his feet, like his mom, I think only one or two of her feet are polydactyl and some of his brothers, his brother and sister. I'm not sure if all of their feet are polydactyl, but his, all of them have multiple toes. <laughs> And he's usually really gentle, but with my socks on, he doesn't realize, so. Um, and then the next prompt, I'm really excited about this one. At first I was like, really? Cause I'm a mood melter. And if I'm not in the mood to melt it, it's hard. I found a workaround. It says melt a, an out of season wax for the 16th. Again, this is friend mail again, um, random act of kindness. This is from Virginia. And this is from Kay's Scented Melts, and it's Lumberjack Contest. It's leaves, Palo Santo, and Autumn Flannel. I am so excited to melt this. It's like an amazing, it's not even really cologne. But it leans slightly cologne, but it's like creamy. Um... It's so good. <laughs> I just... It could almost come off like cologne or aftershave, but it's not like that intense cologne. It's not soapy. It's just a gorgeous scent, and I'm excited about that one. My figure leaves, Palo Santo, Autumn Flannel, that's out of season. But yet it's fun to me. <laughs> totally in the mood to melt that one. And then for the 17th, it says National Cherry Cobbler Day. Melt a cherry or bakery scent and I have four cubes left of this one I got this from my daughter she has this in our club and this is cherry almond pie now when this was in bring back my bar I almost always just only got the almond well now that this is sat I actually get the cherry too so if this were to ever come back and bring back my bar I think I might club this because now that it's cured I get the cherry with the almond and it's kind of magical. <laughs> so I'm going to melt my four cubes of cherry almond pie. These are so much fun, you guys. Um, and then on the 18th, it says melt something. Well, and what makes it fun is um, not only trying to be creative with the prompts, but when you have bars, you haven't melted for a long time and you kind of hoard or you've had random acts of kindness. Um, and you want to melt them. So it says melt something that's movie related. So Virginia again, in a random act of kindness, sent me L3 Waxy Wonders Grindelwald. I am so excited to melt this. I can't even tell you. It's a cute um, owl shaped piece. It smells so yummy. It's kind of like a creamy vanilla bakery. Should look it up there's something else in this it's not really cologne i don't know how to describe that one it's amazing i mostly get like the vanilla bakery with something in there that's yummy so i'm excited to melt grindelwald <laughs> and like from harry potter and the next one for the 19th is melt something that starts with the first letter of your first name. Again, that's the letter M. I was like, well, I've melted Maleficent for starts with the letter M. Now we're back to M again. 
<laughs> so I decided to use up my four cubes of magnolia linen. I do like this. It's strong. It, as it sits, it got a little sharp. But I think in four cubes, I'm really going to like it. Um, used to melt this in my bedroom, but I might actually well, two cubes in each of those warmers instead of four might be okay. But even down here, um, just four cubes instead of the whole bar. I think I might really like that. So I think just to melt magnolia linen again. I told you I have a thing with the laundry scents. Uh, and the 20th, this is my, I think this is my favorite one. Melt a honey or yellow wax. Be my honey. Ah, oh, I want this and Buzzworthy to come back because I love this one. Um, I got this in a flash sale or yeah, flash sale bundle. It's so good. I think it has a honeysuckle in it too. But I mostly smell honey versus floral. I love this. My, <clears throat> my name means honeybee. So I'm super excited to melt this. And I don't know. It reminds me of my name. And then on the 21st, it says melt a strawberry creamy scent. I think you all know. Strawberry swirl. This was one that I got in a random act of kindness from Frankie. Oh, I'm so excited to melt. Um, strawberry swirl. Mm, it's one of my favorites. It's just like a strawberry milkshake with fresh frozen strawberries. I love that. And then it says, the 22nd Victoria Day, melt a scent fit for royalty. Well, again, my friend Lee from Scented with Lee. And friend mail sent me frankincense and myrrh. I know it's kind of like seasonal for Jesus you know, Christmas, <laughs> but if Jesus was royalty to the Christian faith, oh, this is just so pretty. And it's so soft, just like the actual frankincense and myrrh essential oils that I have, not incense sticks, but the actual roll-on essential oils are soft and sweet like this. And this is beautiful. This is just like the essential oils. I love this and I'm super excited to melt this. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I was gonna save it for Christmas, but I'm like, on Victoria Day, why not? Because those are some royal, expensive, I don't know about the myrrh, but definitely frankincense is an expensive oil. On the 23rd, it says, melt a scent you bought based on hype. I was so excited to try Love and Happiness because Patricia Gates loves it. It's in her club. Was it in her club? I think she took it out of her club and wanted it voted back. But she loved, loved, loved this so much. And this was a random act of kindness that I got from Alyssa. I cannot wait to melt this. <laughs> um... I was kind of hoarding the ones that I had because this is one of the ones that I lost from my club. So I'm super excited to melt this. This was totally a hype bar. I couldn't wait to try it. And it's got chestnut in it. But to me, it's kind of powdery slightly. Kind of like Cabbage Patch Doll faces. But it's perfumey and soft and slight, ever so slightly smoky which I think is the chestnut that makes it kind of warm. Oh, I love it. <laughs> love and happiness. So excited to melt that. And then for the 24th, melt a sleepy scent. <clears throat> so I chose from the Catching Z's collection, Sleep Happy. <coughs> and this is another random act of kindness. Um, this one is from Shannon. I'm gonna melt the sleep happy catching Z's. I love I love that whole collection. So can't wait to melt that for my sleepy scent, sleep happy. <laughs> and then for the 25th, it says melt a wine colored or wine inspired blend. So I picked a wine colored one. And that's my Harry Potter Wizarding World, which I could have done for the movie too, but this one is very much wine colored. I love this. It's kind of like a cologne, but it's like a fruity, fruity 
mom kind of cologne. And this lasts for days. <laughs> so I might have to do this one in my bedroom. Uh, this is also super exciting. Um, for the 26, it says melty blue or fish shaped wax. So it's blue and it's fish inspired. <laughs> Um, this is a random act of kindness that I got from Charity, and it's Walk the Plank, and it's got Jaws and Lavender from Super Tarts. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And it smells amazing. Oh, I might have to do this one in my bedroom instead. I don't know. These are so good. <laughs> I love what well, I'm super excited. I need to purchase some of these because... I'm loving super tights, um, especially the jaws and walk the plank. I love that. It makes me so happy. Uh, then on the 27th, it says, melt a scent that contains sandalwood. And I had to think about this one, and I have several bars of this. Is this? No, this might. So I picked Hendrix, and this reminds me of satin sheets, but with a little patchouli. And I looked it up. It's got sandalwood. And I'm so melting Hendrix. Oh, it's so good. I love that one. It's in my club. And ooh. on the 28th, it says, give a questionable scent a second chance. I have been afraid to melt this one because ever since I got it in a flash sale from Scentsy, I'm like... Mm, it smells rough. I don't know that I'm going to like it. So I'm going to give it a first chance, second chance, all at the same time. That's white grapefruit. It's earthy. Mm. There's something in it I don't like. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like this type of grapefruit. It's almost kind of like a, it reminds me a little bit of the melon note that's in inhale, exhale, that makes me nauseous. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. There's a greens in here that's just not jiving with me. I don't, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm very scared. Um, on the 29th is Memorial Day. Melt a red, white, or blue wax combo, or wax comp, wait. Melt a red, white, or blue. What's this? Or. I think I should have wrote melt a red, white, or blue, or wax combo. I think I left the other or out. But I'm doing red, white, and berry pie. Because so I figure it could be red, white, and maybe blueberry too. <laughs> maybe I'll mix blueberry in with it. I don't know. But this is a nice cherry scent. I, it's not my favorite, that's why I didn't club it. I I much prefer maraschino sugar cookie. But it's a nice strong cherry scent. It's fine, I don't get super excited about cherry, so I'm gonna melt my only bar of that. And for the 30th, it says melt something orange. So it's orange colored. And I'm finally gonna get to try and melt my Quiet Clementine from the Hugga collection. I'm so excited, this is so cozy. It's like an orange cozy clementine. Oh, there's just something super cozy about it. I'm really excited to melt that one. And for the 31st, it says National Smile Day, melt one of your favorites. And this is a random act of kindness that someone sent me, Natalie from Melt with Nat and Jack. Oh, it makes me happy, root beer float. <laughs> I cannot wait to melt root beer float. It's one of the 10 bars I lost and I was so upset. It reminds me of rub and sniff stickers when I was rubbing scratch, scratch and sniff stickers when I was little and um, some of my friends at school and I, we would collect stickers and trade stickers and there I had got a root beer scented one and it reminds me of that so much. Schwann's, if you're in the U.S. and you look up Schwann's, they have trucks that carry around ice cream and food. They have the best chicken tenders in the whole wide world. I, they're my favorite. But um, one of the things that they have are root beer float bars that smell identical to that. And I'm so excited to melt that. That will be 
perfect for National Smile Day. Well, melt one of your favorites. So guys, that's my melting challenge basket. And I'm looking forward to melting these and letting you know how they did. And yeah, so thank you so much, you guys. And I hope that was fun to see and it inspires you to, if you haven't started the melting challenge, to, to go ahead and join in with us. And um, if you're not sure what to pick, maybe that triggers some inspiration for you as well to be like, oh yeah, I should try this or yeah. So that's my take on the challenge and that's what I'm doing and I'm looking forward to. So thanks so much, you guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye.